Hi everybody, welcome to Fast Home Brew. It's time to make another smash. Yes, I like these. They're good. And if you're a beginner, it's a good way to get into all grain brewing. Single malt, single hop. And when you got your water, make sure it's turned on. A number of times I've come back to find that my water's not up to temperature is uh, starting to get a bit silly there. So anyway, um, I've gone with Vienna malt for this one. So it's 100% Vienna malt. Um, I'm using about five and a half kilos in uh, for a 27 litre batch. Gravity about 1.045, I think I should get at the start. So that's heating up to... Uh, That'll, oh, it's mashing already. Hell, that was quick. Okay, so it's mashing, uh, I think, 67 degrees right in the middle there. So I'll leave that for an hour. <laughs> That'll happen very quick. All right. Um, oh, yeah. Start of the race. This is Eclipse of 500. Uh, and I'm just in time for the start. Let's see if there's any crashes or anything. No. Safely through the first three corners. Safely up Wakefield. Eh. Oh, well, maybe next time there'll be some crashes. Okay. So uh, back into the whole thing. Oh yeah, I haven't lined up my kettle underneath my rope properly, so I've got to get all my strength and move it just over there. <coughs> yeah, that's hard. Probably actually weighs 45 to 50 kilos at that point. But anyway, uh, get that thing out, and uh, that's the bag coming out in one smooth movement. And oh, now this is a reenactment of me putting in first wart hops because I forgot to turn the video camera on. So in go the first wart hops. You'll notice that it's not boiling it at this point so those hops are going to add a little bit of flavor as well as a lot of bitterness and there's 25 grams going in now it's boiling I'm using sars hops for this one um so yeah hopefully vienna and sars should be a good combination so these guys go in and i'll start the timer for an hour that's another 30 grams so 55 grams in total bitterness of about um oh, i can't even remember 20 something uh yeah okay so i guess i'll just um Film another tasting video while I wait for that to boil. I don't know. In fact, an hour's a long time. I think I'll do two tasting videos. Actually, to be honest, sometimes when I do these tasting videos, I get a little bit buzz afterwards because I drink beer quite quickly for those. But anyway, uh, time is done. Thing goes off, so I'll let that settle down for about ten minutes. So ten minutes later, I'm taking the hop bag out. Out it comes, and give it a whirlpool. Uh, I sort of start big with the whirlpool and then do real fast ones in the middle and there it goes somebody asked about that and i forgot to answer them and uh so while the whirlpool settles i'll just sanitize my cube there we go sanitize the cube kick it down the steps make sure everything gets nice good contact cubes nice and sanitary now okay so out comes the first little example and yeah it looks pretty good i guess that's a nice little bit of whatever uh, so we'll put my hose on because I'm using my new tap. Did I mention that? New tap's on and look at that. It's coming out very smoothly. Yep, I finally got all the yucky taste out of the tap. So um, this is the uh, test round, I guess. For it. So now I've got everything in there and um, no annoying foam to deal with because I'm not splashing it around like an idiot like I used to. And there's just a tiny little bit of air at the top so I'll squeeze it and tighten that. That's all good. I'm done for the day. So that goes in the shed to cool down overnight so that uh, I can pitch the yeast tomorrow. So goodbye beer. I'll see you tomorrow. And it's tomorrow. And there's the beer. And actually the temperature is still a little bit warm. So I'll put this stick on thermometer that I got on. If I can get the backing off of it. There it goes. All right. And sure enough, it's a few degrees. A little bit too high. So I've got some ice. I was expecting this. It's a bit warm weather. Get the smash the ice, smash the ice, smash the ice, and chuck it in the laundry sink. And I've got some stuff to do, so that'll cool down for a bit while I get busy. Oh, make sure you get all the ice while I get busy preparing the yeast. Oh, and playing with the boy. There he is. He's he's a happy kid. Yeah, good boy. Okay. Oh, this is the same sanitizer again. Uh, third day in a row the sanitizer was being used. You can reuse the star sounds, so that's good. All the usual stuff. And um, okay, so this is some boiling water that I'm getting ready to rehydrate the, heat, rehydrate the yeast with, and that's going to go down into the freezer so I can get it down to the temperature about I think 25 degrees I want, which I've got. I just follow the instructions on the yeast. All the yeasts are different. For um, oh, I always boil too much. It's easier to it's easier to do too much and tip some out than it is to check the temperature with only a small amount. So I do too much and. Tip it out. 
so anyway, yeah, I always follow the instructions because each yeast, the manufacturer recommends different stuff. So I just go by what they say, basically. So this one, um, it's been left there for, I think, 15 minutes. Now I'm giving it a stir. And that needs to get left there for at least another 15 minutes. So that'll happen. While that's going on, lift up this heavy bugger and pour in the wort into the fermenter. And I've got 27 awesome liters out. There they all are. And now the yeast goes in. So this is my little technique that I've developed where I put a bit of beer in there first to um, just make it easier to pour out and rinse it a bit better. So I'm rinsing the container there, getting a little bit more yeast, I think. But anyway, that's it. Smash beer. Yeah, if you're just starting an all-grain, consider a smash. One malt, one hop. Couldn't be more simple. You can dry hop or do whatever you want. Mine's just two small additions at the start. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and be...